Well, we're not bringing people here. People are bringing themselves here. Um, the people the United States brings here are refugees, and most all those refugees are refugees from the wars that we have fought or we are fighting or that other people are fighting. So um, people are coming here. That's a reality. Um, yes, it was interesting to make the connection between the loss of the family farm here and the loss of the family farm in Mexico. Um, the difference, a lot of that corn that's being grown now is for biofuels instead of for eating or for fattened beef so that we can eat food that's making us obese. You know, there's some problems there. Um, I wonder how we could have our armed forces, Marines, everything that was mentioned, close the border when we already have a huge force there. Um, I still say we must look at the causes of why people are coming and how it's possible for them to be able to stay home. Now, this country is made up of people from all over the world, and we have prided ourselves in that. Each one of us have a personal story of where our ancestors came from. That's what we claim is our richness. I think one of the things that is feared is lo losing a particular racial perspective. I've heard people say, we'll lose our culture, and I wonder what is our culture. I think it depends on where you're standing, who your culture is. In this room right now, we look like we're all looking like each other. But we're not the whole of the United States. We're not the whole of the citizens of the United States and citizens with a long history, not just citizens that have been naturalized in the last couple of years. So new people that are coming don't all look like us. That's a richness. We have the Statue of Liberty about giving us up your poor, your huddled masses. They came. We came. We need to deal with why and why it is a problem. There is a great pressure on all of our services, but perhaps we ought to look at why. What are we spending the majority of our budget on? And what is it giving us? I rest my case. Thank you.